Hey guys, it's Cameron here with Airgun Depots Under Pressure. I got a really quick video for you today to answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately, and that is, how do I fix barrel droop? Uh, barrel droop is a, is a really common problem with Springer guns, especially the traditional Springers, and it also can plague even some fixed barrel guns. The question I get asked most often is, how do I fix barrel droop? But before we get into that, I want to talk a little bit about what causes barrel droop. Barrel droop basically is exactly what it sounds like. The barrel is, is droopy, meaning that it's not perfectly in line with the top of the rail that the scope mounts to at the back of the receiver. This can really be caused by any number of different things, but the most common thing that we see is with brake barrels where the barrel is moving and it doesn't line up perfectly every time with the back of the receiver. But it can also be a result of the manufacturing process, the barrel not being pressed into the barrel bushings 100% correctly. There's any number of things that can cause the barrel to droop. So now that we know a little bit about what barrel droop is, we can talk a little bit about how to fix it. The easiest that doesn't really require you to run out and buy anything extra is to try and shim your scope. And what shimming a scope is, is it's a lot like when you shim a door. You need to put shims into the door to bring it level and square into the door frame. You do the same with the scope. So you go ahead and install your rings and then before you lay your scope into the rings and put the tops of the rings back on, you'll shim it up or down using either small aluminum shims that you can cut like from a pop can. Um, I've seen people use pieces of business card. You can use paper. You can use tape. Um, or what I like to do that's a little bit more permanent solution is I build up just a little bit of JB weld in the bottom of the scope ring and then I sand that down and make just a thin layer of JB weld. That way I have a permanent solution for that gun and once I mount the rings to that gun and put the scope on it, it's always going to be perfect for that gun. The other way that you can fix barrel droop is to buy a droop compensating mount. And what these are is they're mounts that have a slight angle built into them to bring the front of the scope up or down. A droop compensating mount is a really fast and really easy way to compensate for this problem. However, it does require you spend a little bit more money. There is some other advantage to using a droop compensating mount though, like a lot of the times it will convert your dovetail rail to a Picatinny mount, which will allow it to be compatible with more optics choices as more and more manufacturers are going to pick rails rather than the 11 millimeter dovetails. So there is a lot of options out there, guys. I hope this kind of answered any questions you might have about barrel droop. If you have a method for fixing barrel droop that we haven't talked here and you know it's a great way to fix this problem, go ahead and share it down in the comments below. We love to hear your opinions. We love to hear what you have to say and share information with each other. That's why we make these videos. So again, go ahead and post any comments or questions you have down in the comment section below. Make sure that you tune in next week to watch our next episode of Under Pressure and we'll see you next time.